What are you doing to me? What do you mean, what am I doing? It's the final results of the investigation into this confrontation between King County Deputy Richard Rowe and motorcyclist Alex Randall. The incident was caught on camera with a GoPro that Randall had on his helmet. Randall says the off-duty deputy pulled a gun on him while he was in traffic and that he feared for his life and that the deputy lied about what happened. But now Randall says he's concerned that they will try to point the finger at him. The only way to defend this is to basically attack me. So I, I've talked to my lawyer. I, I've been super open and super honest. I, I, I signed a document. I gave a full statement to the DA about what happened moment to moment to moment the entire day. Um, and so I know that they are going to try to attack me and make me out into this thing because his actions are essentially undefensible. An internal investigation recommended a 10 day suspension. The DA declined to press charges against the deputy. Now Randall worries he'll be back on the streets. Randall says he asked the sheriff to contact him and discuss the investigation when it was completed, but hasn't heard from anyone. I'm waiting. Like, I'm optimistic, but it, it's I'm also realistic. The sheriff makes the final decision on discipline. Roe has been with the department for about two decades. Tomorrow we will learn if he keeps that job. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will, and that's terrifying. I mean, um, it, we're this isn't going to be the end of it. Like, if if they do anything less than fire him. I'm going to pursue a civil suit. Like, that's just because it's not right. I mean, I know I will pull. Again, we expect to hear from the sheriff at noon tomorrow in a news conference, including details about what their investigation uncovered. We're going to bring that for you on our newscasts and online. We're live in Shoreline tonight. Amy Marino, King 5 News.